Let's learn about division on abacus. So let's learn how to solve a division question on abacus with the help of few examples. Let's consider the question 15 divided by 3. In this question, the numerator is 15 and the denominator is 3. So for a division question, always make numerator on the left side of the abacus and make denominator, which is 3, on the right side of the abacus. Now, think of your timetable of 3 until you get 15. We know that 3 times 5 gives us 15. So, 3 times what gives us 15? That is our answer. As we know, 3 times 5 gives us 15. So, we will make that 5 in the middle just the way we usually do. And on the left side, we will subtract the answer for 3 times 5, which is 15. So we Now notice that nothing has been left on the left side of the abacus, which means that our question has been fully solved and our answer is in the middle, which is 5. 56 divided by 8. Let's make 56 on the left side of the abacus, which is the numerator of the question and 8 on the right side of the abacus, which is the denominator in this question. So think of your timetable of 8 until you get 56. We know that 8 times 7 gives us 56. So we will make 7 in the middle, and we will subtract the answer for 8 times 7, which is 56, from the left side of the abacus. So nothing is left. It means our question has been resolved fully and answer is in the middle. 81 divided by 9. Make numerator 81 on the left side of the abacus and 9 on the right side of the abacus, which is the denominator. Now think of your timetable of 9 until you get 81. We know that 9 times 9 gives us 81. So we will make 9 in the middle and we'll subtract the answer for 9 times 9, which is 81, from the left side of the abacus. Nothing has been left on the left side of the abacus, so the question has been resolved fully and answer is in the middle only, which is 9. 42 divided by 6. Make 42 on the left side of the abacus and 6 on the right side of the abacus. Think of your timetable of 6 until you get 42. We know that 6 times 7 gives us 42. So 6 times 7, we'll make 7 in the middle. And the answer for 6 times 7, which is 42, we'll subtract from the left side. Nothing is left on the left side of the abacus. So our answer is in the middle only, which is 7. Notice that in all the questions that we have learned today, the first digit of the numerator, like in this question, the first digit of the numerator is 3. It is less than the denominator, which in this question is 4. So in all the questions that we have done today in DVN, the first digit of the numerator is less than the denominator. So let's solve this question. 36 divided by 4. Think of your timetable until you get 36. We know that 4 times 9 gives us 36. So we will make 9 in the middle and subtract answer for 4 times 9 from the left side of the abacus. Nothing is left on the left side of the abacus. So our answer is in the middle, which is 9. 